Hi, welcome everyone. This is Cindy and this is Pilates. I'm with the York County YMCA, the Southern Branch. I'm going to do a around 40 minute Pilates workout. So Joseph Pilates developed Pilates and he was a boxer. So he was in great shape. So not only do we work our core, which is the foundation of Pilates, but we'll work our whole entire body. So let's start out with our feet just a little bit apart, maybe a foot or so, toes out to the corners, and just keep those legs nice and loose. And we're just gonna start with little flowing arms, nice easy legs, warming up the body. And as you keep moving, you can add a little bit more of your body into this, twisting side to side. And then maybe adding your feet a little bit, stepping side to side as you sweep the arms. Just find your rhythm. Go ahead, let's do this for a few more seconds. Let's widen the feet. Good, and let's pause here. Let's come into a plie. And we're gonna add a twist to this. So I want you to bring one hand down as the other one reaches up. And then come to center, reach. Let's come side to side. Bringing the hands together in center. Good, let's go a little bit wider and deeper. Come down and then lift slightly up. Good, when we come to center, we stay nice and low. Good, let's do one more on each side. Last one, good. Hands together, bring the feet slightly in and let's just reach up, letting the heels come up. And then down. You're reaching up to the sky as if you might jump up and try to reach it. Good, four more. Four and three. Two more. Good, let's stay down low here, and let's lift that right heel and the left heel side to side. As we do this, push those palms together. Feel your chest engaging. Excellent. Three, two more. All right, now we're gonna take this into a nice long lunge. Let's start on this side. Long lunge, lengthen the other leg, and let's reach. Let's turn to the center, then turn towards that leg. Turn center, turn towards the leg, center, and then let's come back together. Let's lunge to the other side. Same thing, reach. Good, knees down towards that leg, and then open. Close, and open. Open, good. We're gonna push off back to center. Let's go side to side, reach, and together. Let's reach, and together. Reach, together, reach. Excellent. Really warming up every part of the body. Good. Let's do one more on each side. Last one. Now let's pause over to this corner. Face that way and let the arms reach back and then forward. So you feel the core engaging now. Pull the belly button in. So we're lengthening through the whole body. Good, we're gonna do one more. And we're gonna reach and go over to the other side. Same thing, reach the arms. Pull that core in. 
Awesome. A few more. And two more. Great. Let's push off, come back up to center. Good. And let's just do some little bends as we get ready to transition onto the floor. Let's keep those heels on the floor. Good. Let's find a little bit of rhythm with our music. And let's just place our hands right in front of our hips here. Let's roll those shoulders around, forward and back. Great, now reverse them. Let's go around and forward. Good. Four more. Three, and two, and one. Excellent, let's make the legs a little bit wider. And we're just going to take the hands front, right in front of our bodies as we come down. We're just doing a little mini arm workout here as we finish up the standing series. Four more. And three, two, Good, we're gonna stay down low, bring the arms out to the sides, and I want you to push back. Palms push, and then front tops of the hands push. So you're starting to really feel those inner thighs working now. Good, a little mini arm workout, getting it ready for what's to come. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, let's make some bowl posts with our arms. And as we come up, we're gonna squeeze our elbows together, then open. So adding a little chest here. All right, keep it going. Now I'm gonna ask you to hold down here, bring the elbows together. Palms come together and you squeeze and hold it there. Eight, seven, squeeze the chest. Elbows together, four, three, two, one. Nice job, inhale up. Let the arms come down. Let's bring our feet to about hip distance apart. And we're gonna roll down and up with our arms nice and loose, knees nice and loose. Here we go. Rolling down one vertebrae at a time. And tap down towards the floor and hold. Rolling up. And let's add a little sweep of the arms as we come to standing down. And hold. And roll it up. Let's add that reach up and down. Good. Let's do, how about two more? Nice little massage for the spine and hold. Up. And reach. You can even add a little lift to the heels here if you would like. One more down. And hold. And roll it up. Add that lift, maybe for the heels and the arms. Great, we're rolling down. I'm gonna stay here now. Good, let's bring those hands down. We're gonna take it down to one knee, then the other knee, bring it around to hands and knees. Great. All right, let's do a cat cow. We're gonna inhale as we lengthen, and then exhale all that air out. You may tuck the toes if you would like. And exhale. And open up those lungs. Gather in that last little bit of air and push it all out. 
Good. Come to neutral. Untuck those toes. And I want you to widen the knees. Push back into the child's pose. So we are place our breast whenever you need it. Good. Walk those hands back. And then we're going to come onto our backs with our knees bent. Let's start out with the hands behind the thighs and then roll down one vertebrae at a time. And then find yourself lying on the floor. Now don't forget that back always has that nice snug connection with the mat that engages your core as well. Arms are right alongside you with your palms down. We're gonna do a little marching. So up to that tabletop and walking down. So let's go right leg to tabletop, left, then down, roll through that foot. Up, up, down. Now, if you would like to, as you march, bring the head, neck, and shoulders up. So that's just an option, adding a little more intensity to the core here. And then left. Let's leave with the left now. And if you need a little support on your neck, you may always bring your hands intertwined right behind your neck. All right. Let's do two more. Up, up, down, down. One more. All right, now we're going to come up to that tabletop and we're going to pulse in here. A little crunch. Now those knees are going to want to come in. Keep them right above the hips. And if you'd like to reach the arms forward, you'll feel a little bit more. For four, three, two, one. Nice job. We'll roll it down slowly. All right, now we're going to lengthen the right leg, then the left, and then march it back up. So right, left. Lengthen. All right, and here's when you want to really focus on that lower back on the mat. Okay, left side leads. Long. Let's try a lift to tabletop. So down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Good. You're going to feel a little bit more there. You can stay with the marching or do the tabletop in between. Good. One more. Excellent. Now we're going to lengthen both legs on the mat. And we're going to do that little crunch. You can have the hands behind or reaching forward. Your option to explore. Good. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Take it down. All right. We're going to do some roll-ups, just like we did when we were standing. We're going to roll up and down here. Now, you have some options. Legs might be straight, or I'm going to lift my right leg up to start. Reach my fingertips up to the sky, and roll up. Two, three, then come to a nice tall sit, then roll down. Good. So that left leg is nice and glued on the mat, and down. Right leg is just, I don't know, maybe six inches or so off the mat and reach. Nice and tall. And up. Two. Good. Now let's let that right leg come down. We're going to switch to the left. Here we go. Reach. Two. Three. Four. And down. Lengthen those legs really long. Make them as straight as possible. Good. Keep going. Let's do two more. Good. One more here. Here we go. Nice. All the way down and let that leg come down. 
Good. Reach long. Let's hug the right knee in. And then hug the left knee in. Good. Let's switch side to side. Side to side. If you would like to, add the head, neck, and shoulders lifting up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. You have two more. Last one. Good job. Head, neck, and shoulders down. Hug to those knees in. Good. Let's take the arms out to the side. Back to tabletop. We're going to find our knees. Coming over to the right. Keep that left shoulder down. And then come back up to center. Let's go to the left. And then center. Go back to the right. And then center. Over to the left. And center. Good. We're going to add a reach of the legs to this. So we're going to head right. We're going to reach the legs. Come back. And then back to center. So it's left. Lengthen. Back to the bent knees. And then center. Good. Right. And lengthen. Bend. And center. Good. Left. And reach. In. Right. We're going to go a little bit quicker. Here we go. Right and reach. Left and reach. Right and reach. Left and reach. Right. Left. Right. Left. Four more. You got this. Four. Three. Two. One. Excellent. Let's bring the legs back to center so they're reaching straight up to the sky. I want you to form a V with your legs. And we're going to open the knees so you form a diamond shape. And then reach those heels back up. Eight. Seven. Six. So we're working our core, but we're getting quite a leg workout in this well, right? <laughs> Two more. One more. Good job. Lengthen. Let's hold this right leg. Hug it in. Keep that left leg off the mat a bit. And then let's switch sides. All right. We're switching side to side. And if you'd like to, bring that upper body up. Keep it going. We're going to do eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four more, four, three, two more. Excellent. Hug it down. Good job. All right, we're going to roll ourselves up to seated. We're going to take our legs around and come onto our bellies, okay? So all the way down onto your belly. We're going to do some 100s, but on our tummies this time. Okay, so you're going to lift your legs up. You're going to lengthen your arms back behind you. Just look straight down at that mat. Lift the legs and just do little pulses in with the arms. Keep it going. Keep going. Keep that chest lifted. Keep those legs lifted halfway there. And don't forget your Pilates breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Rest it down. Good. 
this next sequence, I want you to lift your legs up. Reach the arms forward, and you're going to take one arm out, sweep it around, and then bring both hands to the shoulders, and then switch sides. So you have this little center connection, and then reach in either direction with the arms. Keeping those legs up, reach. Keep the chest engaged for eight. Good, four more, four, and three, and two, and one. Good, lower it down. This next set, we're going to add a bend in the knee. So as you reach your arm, you're going to bend that opposite knee and reach towards that foot, okay? And then come back to center and switch. All right. Get those hands and legs ready. Here we go. Reach and switch. Switch and switch. Go ahead. Switch and switch. Switch. Here we go. Eight more. Eight and seven and six and five. You have four more. Four and three. Two more. Two, and one. Good job, rest it down. Good, we're gonna take our arms out to goal post. So elbows straight out from the shoulders. And then your palms down on the floor. Legs are gonna rest. Arms rest at first. Then we're gonna lift everything up and then come down. So exhale up and down. Exhale up. Good. Let's add to this. So we're going to come up. Then we're going to reach the arms forward, trying to touch them together. Then in and down. One more slow. Reach everything up. All right, here we go. A little bit quicker. So it's up and reach. In and down, up and reach, in, down, reach, down. Let's do four more. Up. So we're working that back shoulders, pretty much the whole back side of your body. How about two more? One more. Reach. Good job. All right. Let's come with the hands right under the shoulders. Tuck the toes and on your knees or toes. We're going to push it up into a plank. And then let's come into a down dog. Reach those hips up. Find that V. Good. We're going to come down with the knees and then down with the elbows as well. So elbows are right underneath those shoulders. We're going to come into a dolphin pose. So toes are tucked. Reach the hips up. Head right in between your biceps here. Good. Now I want you to shift your weight forward. So you're back to the elbows and knees are almost touching the floor, but not quite. They're hovering there. Hold. Good. And then reach back to that dolphin. All right. On the second one, you have an option. You can go back to the knee hover or take your feet back a little bit and come to a plank. All right. Ready? Here we go. Plank or hover. Good job for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Back to that dolphin. We're going to do one more of those. So, again, you can do your hover or your plank. Here we go. Hover or plank. Last one. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one. Good job. Bring that chest down, hips down. And let's just do a little cobra stretch here. Put your hands under your shoulders. Great. All right, we're gonna roll over onto our bellies. All right. Or onto our backs, I'm sorry. <laughs> onto our backs. Okay. We're gonna reach the arms up overhead. And we're gonna add a little lift of the legs as well. And then bring that upper body up. We're gonna do what's called the banana. We're gonna reach everything up and then we're gonna turn, turn towards me. Keep those legs up. Keep the reach of the arms. Good, and then come back to your back. Keep that head, neck, and shoulders up. Let's roll to the other side. And then back to center. Good. Roll. Let's do one more each way. I know it's a lot about balance and finding that core strength. Roll and let's do one more side. Good. Back to center. Nice. And lie all the way down. Good job. Let's bring the feet to the floor and bend the knees. Arms right alongside you. Let's roll up into a bridge. Walk the feet in just a little bit. Let's cross the right ankle over the left knee. Reach those hips up. Let's tap them down and up. Great job. Four more. And three. And two. Good, stay up in that bridge. We're gonna reach that right leg up. Here we go, the leg's gonna come down and then back up. Keep that bridge. Four more, four, three, two more. Excellent, bend that knee, place it down. Let's roll down and as soon as we get those hips to the floor, we're gonna roll back up. Good, cross that left ankle on the left knee. The right knee and then come down. For four, three, two, and one. Good, we're reaching the leg up. Take it down and up. For eight, really long and strong. Four more. Four, three, and two, and one. You got it, bend that knee, roll down. Good, now let's place the bottoms of the feet together and let those knees come out to the side. And we're gonna lift, roll up. Good, you have four more. And three, and two, and one. Excellent, bring those feet back onto the mat. All right, so our next sequence, we're gonna be joining a bunch of moves together. We're gonna start out with a plow. Now, for the plow, if you need to, you can place your hands on your lower back to give yourself some support. I'm gonna just lay my arms alongside me, and I'm gonna reach my legs up, pull my core in, and slowly bring my legs to that plow. Again, if you need some support, place those hands behind your back. Your toes may not touch, it's okay. We work towards it. We're gonna open the legs here. Hold it here, about mat width apart. Now we are gonna slowly roll it down. And then use that momentum and strengthen the core to reach forward towards your toes. If you need to, place the hands behind your thighs to keep that nice open chest. Great, now we're gonna lower the legs and do a forward fold towards them. Good, and then come up nice and tall. Bring those legs back together. Let's join it together. So we're gonna roll down. Legs come up and over, holding that plow. Open the legs, 
We slowly roll down, pull that core in, and then reach, hands long, or on the thighs, legs together this time, and forward fold. Good, so nice and tall. All right, here we go. We're gonna do two, nice and flowing right in between. Open, here we go, roll it down. Reach into that teaser, hold. Good, legs together, reach forward. Let's do one more. Here we go. Reach up and over and open. Slowly roll it down. Good, find that teaser. Legs together, forward fold. Good, stay here on this forward fold. Hold and reach. All right. Good. We're going to come around back to hands and knees again. All right. One last thing before we finish. Good. Let's have those hands right under your shoulders and knees right under your hips. Okay. Good. We're going to go ahead and open the legs out wide to a plank. And then I want you to take one leg and bring it forward for a nice low lunge. Hold it here. We do a little pulse if you would like. Four, three, two. Let's send that leg back. Switch sides. Four, three, two, one. Good. Send it back. Hold. All right. We're going to go side to side, okay? Ready? Here we go. One leg up and back. Front and back. Front and back. Great. Woo, keep going. We're going to do eight more. Eight, seven, six, five. You have four more. Four and three. Last two. Last one. Good job. Knees down. Let's find that child's pose. Place of rest. Let's quick switch to a nice cool down here and stretch. Let's sit up nice and tall. Let's bring the arms up above you, intertwine the fingers, reach up. Great. And let's face forward. Nice, comfortable seated position. Let's start out with our hands. Up at our arms and goal posts. Let's just twist side to side. Twist. Twist. Good. Let's reach the arms out long now. Twist. And twist. Twist. And twist. Good. Four more. And three. Two more. Last one. Excellent. Let's take this hand down to the mat and reach up and over. Look under that arm. Walk that arm out on the mat as far as you want to go. Good. Let's do a nice big sweep forward and around and find that other side. Let's find that sweep around again and hold on this side. Then that sweep around again and hold. Excellent. Let's twist in one direction. Take the hands to the outside of the knee, other hand behind you. And then switch to the other side. Come back to center, and good job, everyone. Nice work. Thanks for joining me for Pilates. I'm Cindy with the Southern Branch of the York YMCA. I'll see you next time.